and welcome back to another episode of Size Eyes. Hopefully you guys are doing well. I'm doing amazing right now. Just cranking through these podcast episodes through my life operating system, which hopefully you've heard some or all of them so far up until this point. So I'm going to continue going through my life operating system, through my alignment pyramid, alignment zone pyramid, and my alignment zone page with, I've gone through the aspirations so far, and now I'm going to be going through the affirmations. So this is the middle level of the pyramid, connecting the aspirations, the high level things to the action, the low level day to day type of activities. So a little background of the affirmations piece. I did the affirmations. So in August Bradley's life operating system, life operating system he has what are identity goals, sorry, value goals and goal outcomes, I believe. And so that's, um, it's kind of two databases where one is, and they're related to each other, but one is more of a qualitative type of goal and one is more quantitative. So the quantitative goal might be, you know, for him, it's like reaching 10,000 subscribers on YouTube, right? The qualitative goal is building a community of like-minded people or something like that. And so I, I did, uh, there's obviously 100% value in that and it's up to the person who wants, to, you know, how they want to organize that. For me, I couldn't necessarily relate to that. That didn't resonate with how I wanted to approach things. And so when I built this out, this was in November, December of 2020, how I approach things up until then, I had been doing practices, I'd been doing affirmation and visualization meditation practices um, since then. So, um, or about for about five, six months. So I started in May, June of 2020, and I'd been doing it with results, with actual, you know, one of them was about communication. I had seen my communication skills improve a little bit. Obviously, long ways to go, but there was still improvement in certain areas, or my physical fitness. I was, quote unquote, inadvertently working out more, right? But it wasn't just inadvertent, it was a, through the visualization practice, it was a subconscious thing that you do, you bring in energy to essentially picture yourself already having achieved the end result, the end state of where you wish to be. And by doing that, you can, you're inevitably going to be doing the actions that will bring forth that end state. And so I built out, I'd written affirmations then in May or June. I've adjusted those throughout, um, throughout the months. I created one for Q1. I created a set of about 15 or 20 affirmations that I've rotated through. And I do about three affirmations in a each of the visualization meditation uh, you know, sessions that I hope was doing about once, once a day. Um, but now I mix in other types of meditation and just work out and stuff like that. And so I probably do it three or four times a week now instead of every day, but I still see results. And so I want to go through um, you know, some of the affirmations that I built out as well as uh, the database. And so essentially this affirmations is replacing the value goals and the goal outcomes sections in August Bradley's um, life operating system. And so, so I saw this as a way of something to incorporate something I was already doing. something I've seen the results from and something that has both a qualitative and a quantitative piece of it. So it accomplished all the, uh, you know, the needs there, uh, at least from my perspective. And so let me, let me go through this data. So this is a database. So this is, affirmations is a level, you know, is a level within the pyramid but it's also a database within the construct of notion. So within this database, I'm gonna go through the fields of, so there's the actual, there's a long affirmation, 
which is I am now. Each of them start with I am now or um, as something that indicates that it is the present. So you're, you're not necessarily saying this, um, you know, consciously. I mean, you are thinking about it consciously a little bit, but these are the things that you're saying during the act- a section of the meditation itself. And side note, when I write in my journal and stuff, I abbreviate visualization meditation by VizMed. So I don't need to write that full long two words out every time. So side note, pro tip there for if you're reading and you don't know what I'm writing with VizMed. So I have the long affirmation that I practice, that I rotate through. And then I have an affirmation, which is the actual, the title itself, um, just as a quick thing Um, it it was a a notion uh, thing I guess it was I wanted to make it more um, you know quick one or two words that indicate what type of affirmation this is so one of them let's see which one should I do so one that I've had for a bit and I've adjusted over the months what I'm doing for Q2 now is you know like I said the effective communicator thing so it says The long affirmation is, I am now an effective communicator in any situation. So this is what I tell myself during the visualization practice. And by the way, this practice I learned through a workshop. Um, So if you're interested in that, reach out to me individually. But it's helped tremendously. It says, I am now an effective communicator in any situation. And going along with that, when I picture it, I try to feel how it is, you know, I picture myself in the mirror, having accomplished that goal, what it feels like, who I'm gonna be sharing it with, what I'm gonna be saying, what's the next best thing, what's the next greatest, great thing that I'm gonna be doing after I've achieved that, etc. And so that's a long affirmation. It's not even a long, you know, sentence necessarily, but it's the, no, that's the field that I have titled as for long affirmation. And then, so the affirmation itself, I just have communication you know, pipe Q2 2021, just indicate that I'm tracking it for this quarter. And so, you know, another one, just to give an example is, okay. I am now deliberately spending time every day to reflect by journaling consistently in both list and free form. So it's a little bit longer. And I have the affirmation kind of title as reflect and journal. Q2 2021. And so each of these I've written out, you know, so these are the results of looking at, you know, the vision board, who I want to be, that I've set for myself throughout the year. This is the result of, you know, and these will dictate what type of projects I want to be doing or the habits and practices that I want to be doing on a regular basis. Right. And so... So then you're probably asking, like, Sai, what is, how do you, how do you track this? Right, these are quantitative, how do you, pra- how do you track how, how much of an effective communicator you are? How do you track how deliberately you're spending time journaling and reflecting? How do you track that? So, I mean, that's a good question. So since a lot of these, there's no real end state, there's no necessarily goal outcome. That's the result of these. I kind of, that's ho- kind of how I built it out actually. Where there's no end state per se, I'm just always improving. And so, you know, for some people that doesn't make sense. For some people that makes 100% sense. So it's just up to you if and how you would incorporate it into, into yours. If goals and goal outcomes fit more to your style of operating, then go for that. If this resonates with you, I'm happy to share more information with you and show my actual database, stuff like that, with you if you you want to reach out. And so within this database, I have different fields like priority. So just first, second, third, fourth priority. So the reflecting, journaling, sharing. You know, I am... So actually, let me go through each of the affirmations at the end. Let me go through each of the fields right now. So I have a priority, I have a status. So some of them are working towards, not started, future, and archived. 
And so working to all the ones that I'm actively doing visualization meditations on, the status is working towards. So all the Q2 ones right now are working towards. There's stuff that I, you know, in a future or archived that, archived is, you know, probably stuff that I've done in past quarters. And then future is stuff that I probably want to get to at some point, but I don't want to be focusing on this quarter. Like one of them is Hindi. Like I want to be, I am now fluent in Hindi and can communicate effectively in Hindi with anyone. Right. I foresee potentially doing that at some point in the future, but that time is not now. And then this is how I track it. So I have a completed column, a goal column, and a progress column. So the goal here is, is how many times I've done the visualization meditation with that, with that specific affirmation included in that meditation. And so, so it's not, so like I said, it's not the end goal that I'm, there's no end goal of these affirmations. Like, oh yes, I'm an effective communicator. No need to work on it anymore. Like it doesn't work like that. So since these are constant things, the goal in itself is the process or is it the process is the goal. I think both ways work. And so for, I have goals for, so this is broken down by quarter. So in the, in Q2, for the, I broke it down by priority. So I want to be doing more of the meditations with these affirmations with higher priority more times than the lower priority ones. And so the first priority ones I'm planning on doing 12 times a quarter, the second priority 10 times, third priority eight times, fourth priority seven times, and the fifth priority five times. And so if I accomplish, you know, so let's say the second priority ones, if I, accom if I do the meditation with that specific affirmation 10 times throughout the quarter, then it will have been successful. Because in my mind, I know that if I do this f repeatedly, consistently, regularly, intentionally, throughout the quarter, there's no way I can't reach my goals. And it's essentially the projects are the way to, projects and habits and practices are the ways to actually track the action items the ways to track that progress that the goal outcomes for some people may be, make, may make more sense in. And so this is, for me, it's a combination of the qualitative and the quantitative in one view, incorporating already something that I'm doing and that I know that I have success with. And so, so those are the main fields. And then after that is just relations um, with the quarter it's in. So I, I uh, like I said, I have I had the completed in the goal. Um, sorry, in the progress column, like I mentioned, is just, you know, completed divided by goal. So pretty straightforward there. And then the quarter is just a relation. So I, I break these out by quarter um, since I think the quarter is enough of a time frame to be changing it up, but long enough to see some progress. So instead of on a monthly basis or a yearly basis where things could change more drastically over the course of the year than over the course of a quarter, um, I want to break it out by that. And so uh, it's just a, a corollary of using Notion where I want to be tracking each of these line items indiv individually over the quarter. And so that's why I have to create, you know, like I said, Reflect and Journal Q2 2021. And so then I can look back on Reflect and Journal Q1 2021 or Q2, Q3, Q4 if those are line items within this database over the course of the year and see how many, if, I've, if I feel like at the end of the year I've improved on that specific piece or that affirmation or that, you know, that uh, um, section within the Wheel of Life that I mentioned in the last episode. If I can see that progress, if I improve from a seven to eight on that, I can see, oh, did I do more visualization of this affirmation uh, throughout the course of the year? 
or was it something else did I was it more of a habit or practice that I did more of was it some was it just due to luck was it you know so there's a lot of relations here that I like an interaction between each of these levels and different databases and different activities that I'm doing and then I have a notes column which mostly empty right now but just in case I want to add something um, then I have a projects field which for these actually are empty right now maybe I should have filled it in but excuse me projects so some of these so like the sharing ones right so for sharing let me read it I am now at ease sharing whatever I choose with whoever I choose so this is this can be related to several of the journey documentation kind of uh, project or domain that I have um, you know I'll get into that as well um, and so you know so sharing so like that can be through the podcast obviously I'm sharing this information right now how I'm approaching things I'm sharing my deepest thoughts in my journal in my, in my blog I'm sharing my daily activities in my daily YouTube vlog so things like that so the that specific affirmation is related to a project can be related to a project and then I have a number of projects column which is just a count of how many projects um, it's related to using the previous field that I mentioned so let's say one of them you know communication is I'm doing something related to a communication affirmation or something related to communication in one of my in four of the projects I can see that one's a four in my reflecting and journaling that's a two projects that are related to that so then I can see like oh wow these affirmations are really important for me to be progressing and growing for five projects versus one and then I can see like which which are the most high priority lowest priority etc and then the final column is uh, related to the wisdom vault which is without going too much into detail which is basically just um, all the knowledge that I've captured <laughs> through various media, through various, you know, through my own thoughts and ideas, sectioned out, divided out by the category of what that um, content is, of, of what that uh, knowledge is. So whether it's communication, whether it's business, whether it's productivity or science or nature or environment, whatever it is. I can go directly through to that page, you know, and that stuff is all aggregated through those different media and content and ideas by myself, etc. So those are the um, <clears throat> so those are the uh, all the fields in the table in the database. I'm just going to quickly go through right now all of the affirmations that I have for Q2 and these are subject to change um, probably not Q2 but in Q3 Q4 onwards but this is what I felt was the high top priorities this quarter so I said the reflecting and journaling one I shared the sharing one ironically next one is my family is now in peak physical mental emotional moral and spiritual condition individually and collectively I now express compassion to all beings. My time and energy investment is now fully intentional. I am now an effective communicator in any situation. I am now in physical, peak physical, mental, emotional, moral, and spiritual condition. Two Laundry and Laundry Lab are now extremely successful with all team members valuably contributing to our success. I am now actively working towards actualizing my bold ideas. I am now regularly and proactively in touch with the social circles that I choose. I now feel fresh, fresh, energized, and motivated throughout the whole day after sleeping four and a half hours. I am now a leader by taking ownership of my, of my personal, work, and home projects. I now have a deep, rich, impeccable, effective vocabulary. I am now rapidly and sustainably growing a community of my content followers and subscribers. 
I now unequivocally trust my intuition. I am now fluent in Spanish and can effectively communicate with it with anyone. I am now prosperous, having ample money and resources to fulfill all my desires. I now have ever-evolving, productive daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, and yearly routines that help me become the person I want to be. So those are 18 affirmations that I cycle through during my visualization meditation and track progress through the how many times I've done so. And so that is the extent of my affirmations database. Hopefully that gave you some insight into the high level, how I'm structuring it, as well as the granular look at what the fields are and what the actual affirmations are. So if you have any questions about this, feel free to reach out. Happy to go into it in more detail. And I'll continue looking at different sections of my SciOS Life Operating System going forward. So if that's of interest, subscribe, like, follow, share, comment, whatever. And I'll be looking forward to seeing you on the next one. So thanks for listening to another episode of Size Eyes. I'll see you when I see you.